Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles X is a phenomenal game, but blimey biscuits can it get confusing. That's why we've banded together to bring you this series of videos where we explain some of the less obvious parts of Xenoblade that the game sort of glosses over. Today's subject, getting skills. How do you? The first step to getting your skill is to make your character. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, come back, come back, I'm not going to be holding your hand that much. You'll need to complete all the story chapters up to and including chapter 6. Immediately after you've completed the 6th chapter, Vandom will ask you to come and talk to him about getting a skill license. You can find him in the barracks to have a quick chin wag with the old geezer and accept his mission. Then accept the 8 missions after that. Yes, you have to complete one mission for each division of Blade to prove your worth, and we're going to give you a brief guide on how to do all of them. To complete the first first mission you must simply install a probe in FN Site 117 in Primordia. Chances are if you've got this far you've already done this so the mission should complete itself but failing that simply head here and do the thing. For part 2 you'll have to defeat 12 Blitz Blatters which are small inoffensive bugs that you can find in Noctilum. The map will show you precisely where you need to go so don't fret. Part 3 requires you to take down a tyrant by the name of Shatskeek the Flash. Despite the imposing name, this guy shouldn't be too much of an issue for you after what you just fought in Chapter 6, but he might not be around when you get to the waypoint on the map. Just be patient, he'll turn up soon enough, and then you'll put him in the cold, cold sand. The fourth exam asks you to inspect a particular item in Noctilum. Seriously, it's really easy. It's amazing this is even part of it. Again, it's shown on your map, so you shouldn't have an issue finding it. Now, part five is where things get a little bit tricky. You have to find eight rock armadillos, three beak flea squashes, and six multi-speckled ladybugs. For the rock armadillos, you'll have to go into a cave in Noctilum just south of FN Site 221, which is right about here. The beak flea squashes are found near the waterfall in northeast of Oblivia near FN Site 316. And lastly, for the ladybugs, you'll need to scour Sickle Rock Rise, which should be marked on your map, but if not, it's about here. These items may well take some time to find, so be patient and keep coming back. Part 6 involves getting 15,000 credits or more in one go on the Frontier Nav. This means you'll have to go through and remove any of the mining probes that you have and replace them with research probes as they give you far more cash. Do be aware of how much money can be made from each probe and select the most advanced research probes you have for areas with higher grades of money available, ideally B or A. If you're still not making enough, it's time to go out and install as many probes as you can. Failing that, you'll need to find more research probes from missions and scavenge sites. Keep pushing, you'll get there soon enough. Segment the 7th really drops down the difficulty again. This time you just have to kill three giant Grexes with one of the three weapons provided by the man the waypoint is pointing to. Again, the Grexes are highlighted on your map and they shouldn't really give you too much trouble, so have fun. Finally, Part 8 gives you one of three missions to complete. We recommend the Pip Squeak because it's the easiest and the funniest. Chat to the NPC highlighted on your map in the industrial complex of New Los Angeles, then shuffle off to find a Noka Mirror Stone. You can find these in the same cave south of FN Site 221, so head back there if you didn't pick one up when you were finding the rock armadillos. Follow the necessary and obvious steps talking to the right people, give the man on a pizza, watch him go absolutely mental, and then your mission is complete. Now all that's left is for you to head down to the hangar and receive your very first scale free of charge. Whew, we got there in the end. Stay tuned for more handy guides for Xenoblade Chronicles X coming to you at some point in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you grab that subscribe button and junior birdman the heck out of here and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,